Hi, my fellow lab technicians. I know you have been asking me a lot of questions about what about us, the lab techs? You always talk about nurses. Today, as a topic depicts, I have an information for you. Okay, so sit back tight and watch this to the end. My name is Rishwa Kuma. I'm a registered nurse, come from Ghana, live in USA and work here as a registered nurse. This is not my field, but I have the right information and the right documentation as we always do. This is a great job opportunity for all of you and you must endeavor to apply, okay? As you are wondering, this is US Empathic Consult. If you're a registered nurse, midwife or psychiatrist nurse who wants to work in USA, you want to take NCLEX, you do not know how to figure it out, okay? I have the pathway for you. Just log on to www.usrnpathwayconsult, as you can see, .com, and then register and we'll start your own body process for you. Beware of impersonators, beware of scammers out there. Go and do everything as directed on the website. So lab technicians, it's an opportunity. This company I've talked about before, hires nurses, hires nursing aides. And today they have extended this opportunity to medical lab technologists. And I will tell you all about it. I will leave the links to the website in the description box. Click on the topic of this video and that is where you find the description box and that's where all the websites are do your thorough research as well before you apply i do not affiliate with this company i only bring information to you as and when i see it is legit or genuine so do not contact me and ask further questions please go to their website reach out to them and ask your questions directly from the source mine is just to bring the information to you okay 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 enough of that okay let's do this for now so this company is hiring and i'm gonna share everything with you on the screen they said now interviewing h1b lottery medical technologies for one of fortune 500's world most admired companies we are now scheduling interviews for the following specialties blood banking biochemistry chemistry culture microbiology cytology dna identity hematology slash microbiology hematology slash blood bank histology mass spectrometry microbiology molecular if you have already applied please contact your recruiter directly or apply now at the link here and this company as you can see is worldwide health staff solution the job posting is on their linkedin page you can reach out to their website as well and send in your applications okay so basically if you are a medical technologist the requirement to the best of my knowledge you should have nothing less than a bachelor's a four-year college or university degree that is what i'm told you need as an international medical technologist a minimum of bachelor's master's is accepted especially talking about these specialty areas so if you have that requirement you can take the ASCP examination that is your professional licensure just that we just as how we have N class for nurses yours is ASCP and I'll tell you a little bit about ASCP the locations and the cost involved in taking that so the international certification process if you determine your category and route, that is the first step, you pay a fee, which is non-refundable. I will tell you all about the fee later on. You complete an online application. This is a whole document you'd have to click on the link that I'm going to attach to this video to read all about it and see the category you belong to. Complete an online application, which is non-refundable. Then you receive notification to take the computer-based examination at Pearson VUE Professional Center within the examination period you have assigned. So just like the nurses, you, give, you get a go-ahead before you register with Pearson, before you take the professional exam. So it's the same. Upon eligibility of your examination. Okay. Step four. Schedule an appointment to take the examination within the eligibility period indicated in your admission notification. Step five. Take the examination at the PSM VUE Professional Center of your choice. Immediately after you complete the examination, you will see your preliminary pass or fail results on the computer screen. 
Step six, receive email notification to log in and view your final examination score report. Step seven, receive your world certificate in approximately six to eight weeks after passing your passing score report and verifying your mailing address. Your certification is valid for three year period. To maintain valid certification, completion of the Credential Maintenance Program, CMP, is required every three years. And they have a website you have to visit if you want to renew it. Let's go through the requirements briefly. Requirements for an International Medical Lab Technician, MLT, ASCPI. There's Route 1, 2, and 3. So Route 1, two-year diploma from an accredited or approved technical institution in medical lab sciences, which includes training in blood banking, chemistry, hematology, and microbiology. That's Route 1. Route 2, two-year diploma from an accredited or approved educational institution in biological science or chemistry, and successful completion of a medical lab science training program. The training program must include blood banking, immunohematology, hemi chemistry, hematology, and microbiology, Route 2. Now to Route 3. Route 3, two-year diploma from an accredited, approved educational institution in biological science or chemistry, and three years of acceptable clinical experience in an accredited or approved laboratory. Experience must include blood banking, that's immunohematology, chemistry, hematology, and microbiology. It looks like blood banking is a must for all these three routes. So that is the requirement for an international medical lab technician. All the requirements are here. For an international histotechnician, it's also on the side here. We're not going to read into that much. All the requirements for international technology certificates are here. If you want access to this document, just go online as well and type ASCP for International Health Worker and you'll see all the requirements. As I said, I am going to attach the link to the comment section and also in the description box. Click on that link and you see this whole book. It's the whole book that has different pages. So for International Medical Technology, that's what I read to you. There's international histotechnician, international phleb technician, phlebotomy, those who draw blood. There's international medical lab scientist. Let's look at that. Oh. For the international medical lab scientist, you need a baccalaureate degree. You need a bachelor's. You need a four-year college degree from an accredited educational institution in medical lab sciences, biological science, or chemistry. And you should have successfully completed a medical lab science training program. The training program must include blood banking, chemistry, hematology, and microbiology. That's Route 1. Route 2, you need a B, BSc, bachelor's, from an accredited or approved educational institution in med lab sciences, and three years of acceptable clinical experience in an accredited or approved lab. Experience must also include blood banking, chemistry, hematology, and microbiology. Route three, you also need a bachelor's from an accredited facility. You need to have a successful, you need to have successfully completed a two year medical lab science program. The training program must include blood banking, chemistry, hematology, and microbiology. Route four, you need a bachelorette degree from an accredited facility, five years of acceptable clinical experience in an accredited or approved lab, and it must also cover the same blood banking, chem, hematology, and microbiology. The fifth one, you need a bachelor's from an accredited facility, a two-year diploma from an accredited institution, and a five-year acceptable clinical experience in an accredited facility and the experience must include blood banking, immunohematology, chemistry, hematology and microbiology. Those are the five routes if you have bachelor's and you are an international medical lab scientist.
lab scientist, that's the bachelor's. The one I read to you before was MLT. Chapter four. Chapter four was MLT, medical lab technician. Let read to you is medical lab scientist. So there is a difference. The scientist, you need a bachelor's to apply. For the technician, this is what the requirements are. Those are three routes, a two-year diploma, two-year diploma, two-year diploma, and three years of clinical experience. Are you getting the difference? It's your field, you know where you fall. So based on this category, read more about this. Apply, don't miss the chance. They are looking for MLT. There's health worker shortage in America. America is struggling to staff all type of health workers from CNA, PCT, nurses, doctors, PAs, MPs, lab technologies, lab sciences, biomedical sciences, dietitians, anything. So as soon as I find a valid information, I will definitely bring it to you on this channel. Share this video with others. The opportunities are out there. Unless you do your thorough research, you're not going to find them. Read intensively and extensively. Do your research. Don't take it by word of mouth. Go and do your reading. I wish you all the best in your ASDPI examination. Now, let me tell you about the examination centers. Luckily, there are centers in Africa you can take this. Ghana, Nigeria, Liberia, lucky you. So the center in Ghana is the Linear Assessment Services Limited. Fourth floor of Total House, Liberia Road, near British Council or National Theatre, Accra, Ghana. There is Bella's Education Services, first floor, back wing. 56 Ogunla, Ogunlana Drive, Surulere, Lagos, Nigeria. There's Intake Education, Abuja, Abuja, Nigeria. There's Emerging Threes Limited, Kaduna, Nigeria. And there's Cartington University, Congo Town, Liberia. These three countries, Ghana, Nigeria, Liberia, you can take your ASCP which is, is a licensure, so to speak. I'm going, as I said, I'm going to attach all the link and everything you need to know. The ASCP Board of Certification is an administratively independent certification agency that prepares relevant standards and develops procedures that would assure the competence of non-physical medical, non-physician medical lab personnel. The ASCP Board of Certification certifies that individuals who meet their academic and clinical prerequisites and who achieved acceptable performance level on examinations. So this book has pretty much all the information you need. If you are qualified, apply. As I said, the job posting is on the LinkedIn page of Worldwide Health Staff Solution. Once more, let me go to the requirements. The major requirements to meet an, an, as an international medtech professional are one, you need to have passed the ASCP. If you haven't written it, you can write it. And as I said, the examination centers are in Ghana, Nigeria, and Liberia. Then you need to have a credential evaluation report. And you need to get a visa screen certificate just like the nurses do. And you need an English proficiency test. IELTS or OET is accepted. You need the license to be able to practice. You can practice in states like California, Nevada, Florida, New York, Georgia, North Dakota, Hawaii, Rhode Island, Louisiana, West Virginia, or Montana. The category of visa you get is H-1B visa. As stated on the Worldwide Health Staff Solution LinkedIn page. So if you are selected, you get your visa screen and then petition gets approved. And then you get your visa and then you travel to USA. Visa petition submitted via premium processing can take about two to four weeks. And the most common category is H1B, unlike the EB3 for nurses. Once more, let's go through it. They are hiring for H1B visa category. And if you have this following qualifications, so you are specialized in this field, you have to apply. Blood banking, biochemistry, chemistry, culture, microbiology, cytology, DNA identity, 
hematology slash microbiology, hematology slash blood bank, histology, mass spectrometry, microbiology, molecular. If you have already applied, please contact your recruiter directly. Or if not, click here to apply. So let's scroll down a little bit. Lots of people have responded to the message they saw online. This is the link to apply. So let's go there. It is not too different for the nurses. It says registered nurses and healthcare professionals apply here. So you put in your first name, your last name, your email address. And when you come down here, you choose medical technologies because that's what you are. Then you choose the country you are in. Then you choose the country you were born in. You can be in Ghana but born in Nigeria. Then you choose your current specialty. Or you can choose other. If, you do, if it's more nursing oriented, you can choose other. Then you upload your resume. I've done this over and over again. As I said, I just bring information to you. I do not work for Worldwide Health Star Solution. Many of you nurses and CNAs came to me for further clarification. Reach out to them. Their websites and information are all there. The email are all there. Click on the topic of this video and read everything about this job. Upload your resume and click I have read and agree to the terms and send your resume. They said if you are unable to upload your resume, you click here to email it directly to them. It sends you to the email address. Recruiting at healthstaff.org. That is the email address. Seize this opportunity and apply to them. I wish you all the best in this journey, medical technologist, biomedical sciences. If you have any of the listed specialties, apply. Try and write the ASCP examination as well so that at least you are already ready to do the next process. I wish you all the best. My name remains Mr. Kuma, registered nurse as share nurse in migration and any other great opportunity that I find useful to you. I do not know much about this process and as soon as anything else comes up, I would bring them to you. All the best in this quest of your US RN dream. Take care and bye-bye. Share this video with others and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.